How's it going? On my drive home and text message comes in. FedEx package delivered. Now I have to wait till I get home. I have to abide by the speed limit. Well, I suppose I could drive faster than the speed limit. That wouldn't be smart considering that I know this stretch of road, there is always a police officer sitting in this one spot. Well, I shouldn't say always. If it was always, that would be too predictable. So randomly, there is a police officer situated somewhere on this about a mile and a half, two mile stretch of road. So if I were to speed, I wouldn't do it where I'm at right now. Not to say that I would speed. I'm not condoning breaking the law. I may have done that once or twice in the past, you know, driven faster than the posted speed limit. But not today. I'll contain myself. So, I really don't even know what to say right now. I'm just focused on getting home. And if it is the new TG tracker, then today is probably the last day I'll use the phone for a lot of the vlogs. Oh, 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 oh. Let me turn the phone around. There we go. What did I tell you? Somebody, who is not me, wasn't aware of the officer that likes to sit on this stretch of road. I'm getting pretty good at doing these vlog posts where I start speaking about something and then it appears like FedEx trucks, police officers. Tomorrow's vlog post, I'm going to be discussing how there's always the potential chance that I could come across a big bundle of $100 bills on the side of the road. You know, as an experiment, we'll do this, of course. Uh, I'm not even motivated to shoot anything right now. Uh, it's pretty warm. Well, it feels warm out. It's in the 80s. It's kind of hot. I'm wearing pants today because it was cold this morning. So, and there's nothing really catching my attention on this drive so far. It's kind of bright out and real not flattering light, I guess. No storms, although tomorrow, tomorrow, according to the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, they're, uh, they give this thing called the convective outlook. It's basically their predictions across the country for areas that should be on the lookout for severe weather. Generally, the Plains states and parts of the Midwest, not my part usually, always at this time of year have some area where there's a chance of all hell breaking loose. And I always get all bummed out because they get all the action. Well, you know what? Tomorrow, we are in an enhanced, in, yeah, in an enhanced zone, which means the conditions are favorable for severe weather to develop. I'm excited. Especially if I get the TG tracker. I mean, because this is going to be awesome for, like, getting out and chasing storms. I've got my little mount right here still attached to the windshield. I can put the tracker on that and mount it right to the roof of the car and do storm chases. I can do them in 4K if I want to do them in 4K even. Um, but it's the cool thing, though, is that it's completely weatherproof. So I can get out in hell's fury of a storm, you know, hail and rain and wind and still continue to vlog. My camera gear, you know, the EM1 and all the pro lenses are weather sealed, so I'll be shooting in that anyway, so no worries there. Now I'll be able to do video in it as well. I'm pretty stoked on that. I've been waiting for this solution from Olympus for a while now, and here it is. I think, I don't know, I'm assuming, even though you're not supposed to assume, I'm still assuming anyways that at my house there is a box with a little bundle of video wonder in it. Turn the camera off. Gonna continue my drive. Turn on the radio. Listen to some depressing news because, damn it, that's all they do anymore is talk about the bad stuff. 
Ugh, it's pathetic. Why doesn't somebody start a new station that's just happy, go lucky, good news? All right, I'm turning you guys off. All right, lifetime. It's the box. Still trying to figure out what overpack means, but I don't think that matters, really. So, we'll crack it open. You guys are going to see before me. I can't even see my phone to see if it's recording or what. Hopefully everything's in frame. I feel the big fat bubble wrap. All right. Reaching in, still can't see, I can feel the box right here, it's longer box than just what I was thinking. Alright, so you guys do me a favor, tell me what it is. <laughs> you didn't even get to see the front of it. It's the tracker. Let's see what it looks like. It's like Christmas. In June, it's like Father's Day. You know what? It's a Father's Day gift. All right, so front of the box, open it up. And it mentions, of course, the app. So there's a new app. Actually, it's the, same, it's the OI Track app. That's interesting because the OI Track app has been out for quite a while. I'm guessing it's an updated version of that. To support this camera all right so we open it up warranty card maintaining water resistance which some people don't realize that they just think oh it's waterproof I can do whatever I want while well, there are seals that need to be maintained you need to make sure they're clean and free of debris or else well it's no longer sealed and it's like your quick start guide, which on the back shows all the accessories that you can get. Software. Lanyard. Oh, very cool. Sweet. So this is the accessory grip for it. Grief. Somebody did a spectacular job wrapping that portion of it up. Whoever wraps it up in the facility where they wrap these things, you're doing your job well. There we go. So this is the grip that you would use to hold on to the camera and point it around. It's got a selfie mirror. Actually, I do take a lot of selfies, so don't judge. Ah, battery. If you remember back a little while ago, a couple weeks, I have another one of these just waiting. Charger. Notice this isn't like... Uh, the other chargers for the other tufts, you know, those are kind of big. This is a little more like what you're familiar with, you know, for like your phone or your tablet. I know, you're like, just open the damn camera up. Let me see that. USB cable. Here it is. Just kidding. So, <laughs> this is the lens cover. Uh, this lens cover is used for when you're shooting underwater. I don't know that I've heard it mentioned a whole lot, but if I'm not mistaken, when you put this on, you end up going from 204 degrees to, is it 96 degrees or 98 degree field of view? It changes the field of view. So, but you should put this on when you're underwater. I don't spend a lot of time underwater, but you can bet I will be taking it in the pool this weekend. I will close the box up. Yes, I'm actually like securing the box closed. I'm so annoying. Small. It's 
so cute. It's like a little baby tough. Very small. I don't have like gigantic hands, but small. The display folds out. This is so cool. <laughs> it is seriously like like a little itty bitty baby tough. I am stoked. All right, so I'm going to have to stop the camera. I'm going to have to grab a micro SD card because that's what this takes. It does not take um, a standard SD card. If you want to shrink things down, everything has to get smaller, right? So I'm going to go grab a micro SD card and uh, throw the battery in. And the next video that you see, the, the, the end of this vlog post today, will be shot with the tracker. I'll be right back. It's so cool. All right, here it is. First video with the TG tracker, and my adventure is going to consist of what can I do here? Ah, okay, here. I ran down the stairs. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any kind of crazy adventure for you quite yet. Um, I will, though, be taking this up to the campground this weekend and doing some boating, maybe some tubing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Of course, it'll be attached to my golf cart cruising around the uh, campground. So let me turn this off here, figure it out. I literally just put it in and turned it on and started recording. So let me go through the menus here and figure some stuff out, and then I'll get back with you. Do, do a little walking around the yard into the flowers my half empty pond All right, test footage, I suppose. Kind of have the menu structure figured out here. It's a little different. It's very simplified. How about that? Which is cool because in all honesty, with a camera like this, my focus is going to be just getting it turned on and hitting record and going and just doing my thing. So I can kind of dig this really basic menu. You really don't have to do a whole lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just going to be fired up, start shooting. All right, turning it off again. Going to take the uh, battery charger off of my truck over here, getting her prepped for the weekend. Let's see, guys. Okay, so I'm back in my room after playing with the camera for a while. Again, I'm not a manual guy. So, it should come as no surprise that the first two videos that I recorded were upside down. Uh, it <laughs> yeah, so it's weird. Right out of the box, the camera defaulted to being set for inverted, which makes sense. I mean, because if you're going to be shooting with it while, for instance, in my car on the windshield mount, the camera would be inverted. So, naturally, you want to be able to invert the video. Why it came out of the box inverted... I have no idea. Regardless, I've got it fixed. I'm now recording this right side up so I won't have to flip the video like I did for the other two shots that are in this vlog post. So far, first impressions, it's freaking cool. And Olympus has this convenient way, it's probably the only way, to get around the, um, the fact that they have to stick with a 29-minute uh, recording length. I think that once you go beyond that for some sort of regulatory purposes they need to classify the camera as a camcorder or something like that there's some sort of a reason for it you know other manufacturers do it as well um and olympus has a loop feature put in so basically what it'll do is uh it'll hit the 29 minute mark and it just starts a new video seamlessly so nice way around it bravo i think other cameras do that too but um I know that there was a conversation between some of the uh, fellow visionaries and trailblazers 
regarding the time restrictions on videos and I figured that there was a way around it. I figured that they probably did it like some of the other action cameras did. But I didn't say anything in the conversation because I didn't want to, you know, make the wrong statement. Because um, we didn't have access to the manual before we got the cameras. We probably could have asked for it, but we just didn't. So, and again, you know, if I would have gotten the, the manual, who knows, I probably wouldn't have read it anyway. So, with that being said... Um, I'm going to turn the camera off and put together this vlog post for today. Tomorrow, a chance for storms and severe weather and all of that good stuff. And hopefully some cool scenery for me to shoot and vlog with the TG Tracker. Pretty stoked with this thing. It is small. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.